jcquerymarketingpodcast.com and welcome to part three of our series of fading in and out without jQuery. So what we did in the previous tutorial is we figured out that we needed a function called set opacity that we would call any time we wanted to change the opacity and we validated that it worked by refreshing our page and when fade out we click that and it goes to 0.5 and when we go to fade in it goes to 0.5. So now we know that both of our on clicks are working towards the right functions and that our set opacity um, function is working. So now what we want to do is let's work on the fade out. So I'm going to delete this and now somehow we want to take our opacity from 1 because remember I said in the previous tutorial that if something is shown it has an opacity of 1 we want to bring it to an opacity of 0 and that means that it's not shown it's see-through so somehow within our um, within our uh, within our function we somehow want to bring that down so the first two things that I want to define here is var opacity is assigned 1 so this will be the opacity of where we want to start. So then within, the, within this function, somehow we will be deducting that opacity again and again and again. And the next thing I want to define is, um, let's say var interval is assigned seconds times 10. So this is the interval of what we are going to be working with. So they said that they wanted it to fade out within like four seconds or three seconds or two seconds. So then we will multiply that times 10. So now we'll be working with like 20. And then we'll say every 20 milliseconds fade out a little bit. So that's basically why we did this. So in order to do this, we are going to be working with a function called set interval. And the way this function works is in the first parameter, you say what you want to do multiple times. So in set interval, the first parameter will be a function that you want to take place multiple times. And the second parameter would be how many milliseconds you want this function to keep happening. So as I said, the first parameter is going to be a function. And then the second parameter is going to be the milliseconds of how many times you want, how, how often you want this to happen. So our milliseconds are going to be that interval, right? Because we, we just made that variable interval. So now we want well, however many seconds they put in here that this fade would happen at that interval. And then the, the first um, parameter is going to be the function that we want to continue to take place. So just say function, no parameters, and nothing in the brace. So within this brace, we are going to call another function of exactly what we want to take place. Because we can just type all the stuff in here, but say if that becomes kind of long, then it would look kind of sloppy. So since we have to have this function here in set interval, in the braces, we are going to call the function that we actually want to happen at this interval. So let's just call that function, let's say fade out interval and then a semicolon. So this is the function that we want to be called at an interval again and again and again and again. And what is that interval? The seconds that they typed in times 100. So now let's make that fade out interval um, function. So just say function fade out interval. So whatever we type in here is going to be taking place multiple times, okay? So the first thing that we want to do is in here, we want to deduct the opacity every single time they come here. So that when fade out interval comes here the first time, instead of having an opacity of 1, we want to deduct it by 0.1. So now it will be 0.9, and then it will be 0.8, and then 0.7, and then 0.6. So every single time that this function is called, the opacity will be deducted. So in order to do that, just say opacity is assigned opacity minus 0 0.1. So this will say when the opacity comes here, it will come here, it will deduct one and assign it to opacity. But the reason why this isn't blue is because we haven't sent opacity to this function. So now fade out interval is saying who the hell is opacity? So we need to send the opacity to this function and then catch it here. So we utilize the parameters to get that same opacity. So now when it comes here the first time, opacity will now be 0.9. So now that opacity has deducted one, let's set the opacity of that individual div now to 0.9. 
okay? Just like we did before. So we would call the set opacity, and we would pass it the div ID, and we would pass it that new opacity interval. So now this is saying I want to take that div of that message div and I want to come to here and I want to make it 0.9 now and then I want to set it and make it look like it's 0.9 so a little bit see-through. But as you can say, ID is not blue because we didn't pass ID. So we have to pass the ID so that it's talking about this ID. So ID will come in through this parameter. It will get sent to this parameter on an interval and then it will come to this parameter. So now ID is good. So now this will talk about the individual ID of what we want to do. So if we save this, let's see what happens when we preview this in a browser. So this is fade out we have. So when we click fade out, you will see that it slightly changes a little bit. So it really just looks like it went to 0.9 and then it stopped. It didn't keep doing that set interval or anything. So, the reason it didn't keep doing that was because what's happening each time is 1 is being set here, and then it's being sent here, so then it becomes 0.9, but now our new opacity isn't sent back up to the interval, so then it just stops at 0.9. So what we need to do is we need to send 0.9 back up here, and then 0.9 will be passed here, and then 0.9 will be subtracted. So the way we do that is we return opacity and then over here we will catch the opacity so now the opacity will be sent through this parameter it will be deducted one it will be returned then it will jump back up here and now this variable will be the opacity so then it will be sent again when that interval is called again and now opacity will be 0.9 jump down here and the cycle will keep going over and over and over again so if we save this and we come over here and we click fade out, now it fades out. We refresh, click fade out again, and it fades out. So as you can see, we are just deducting the opacity by 0.1 each time. So if we came over here and we changed this from a fade out of 4 to a fade out of 1, and then we came over here, refresh the page, click fade out, boom, it's gone really fast. So as you can see, um, it's not really one second, but the whole reason why we made these numbers to go with it is so that you can tweak this as you see it. So maybe you can say, okay, one is a little fast, let's try three. So then you'll click this, you'll fade it out, okay, three is a little better. So that's why we set this parameter of a number so that you can kind of guesstimate exactly what you like the best. Now, there's one problem with this function that we've made that we are going to clear up in the next tutorial, but I just want to explain it a little bit. The problem with this is this set interval that we're calling is going to be called again and again and again and again and again at this interval because we have nothing that is stopping that interval. Because honestly, when this thing completely fades out, we should stop the interval, but we have nothing set up here that stops that interval. So this is just going to be called again and again and again and again and again and again, and that is horrible programming. So in the next tutorial, we are going to learn how to stop this fade out when the or to stop this um set interval when the fade out is gone. So when it has an opacity of zero, meaning that the image is completely gone, we will stop the interval. So thank you for watching. This has been Christopher Carrington with GMU Student. I hope you guys are kind of excited because you kind of just made some something really sweet and I'm hoping that it wasn't that bad. I'm hoping it wasn't that painful teaching you guys how to do this and I hope it makes sense. So stay tuned for the next tutorial because that is actually extremely important. I just don't have enough time to do it in this one. So in the next tutorial I will see you guys and uh, comment below if you have any problems and thank you guys for watching.